Yo, what's up YouTube? It's been a long time since I uploaded a video. I've been going through a lot of struggles, yo. This black soldier thing, my friend. <laughs> I remember I have spent the last one month trying to figure out my love cage. Um, it has really been a really hassle, right? Really hassle. So, every time I put flies in, they die the next day. They are 10 to midday, you see very many of them in the net. And then after that, you see that they all die. So I've been trying out different things, different things. Uh, but one of the basic reasons why I've, I found one of the basic reasons just two days back, it was actually the net that I was using. Um, the net was too thick. So basically, you find when temperatures go high, uh, it makes the fly suffocate at some period of time. Yeah, There's no enough air in there. And you find that the temperatures go too high, really high inside the net. So the flies basically die. And the weak ones can try moving the net to all spots. I brought it in this room, which is dark. At first I was outside, right? I have I saw that maybe, yeah, maybe here could be that the temperatures are too much. I brought it here and had to put it near this other one. I, As you can see, it has flies right now. And they're doing well, they're laying eggs, right? So I had to put it there and there was still no change. So I had to take it to a better set down over there. So where even there's no heat actually. So you find that they still died the same way. So I realized, uh, so I decided now, since this other smaller net works, let me go and uh, get some, um, some other net that is similar to that, really similar. So with the same material. So like, actually mother as well have just uh, delivered. Uh, so it is really light and it does not really affect the temperature too much. So I decided to buy that type of net, right? But right now, now it works well. I'll put it outside and there are flies in it. So we shall go and check actually. So where I'm standing right now, I just made the facility for, for another net. Let me just show you very well. The I made uh, for the third net that I'm making. As you can see, and so I'm basically left it uh, winding up with this floor here, and then I hang my net. That's all. So, so right now my flies basically do well. Uh, as you look at these other ones, there seem to be a few right now because I moved most of the people to the new net that I just bought. And basically, let's see whether they really lay eggs, right? They really lay eggs. I know m m many people complain that their flies don't lay eggs, but I faced that for a long period of time, like really long. I felt like giving up on this BSF thing because they don't lay eggs. But finally, I found the square root, right? I found the square root. So, as you can even see, there are some eggs on the net. I don't know whether you can see. Look at that. These are eggs on the net. So they are beginning to lay eggs anywhere, so basically there's a good mating in here. And hopefully now I can get the best. So let me just try to open the net. So let's try to get one of the eggs and we see what's really happening here. What's really happening here. Which one should I pick? Uh, let me pick this old one. So there are two, uh, one day in the net already. But you can see there are eggs already, right? Let me just show you the eggs. Let me show you the eggs. So let's check the eggs. I don't know whether you can see them here. Uh, my egg is done. As you can see, I think here the light is not proper. Let's move somewhere darker. Here they are all eggs, right? Now, I want to take it, you can see the new, the other love cage. So this is going to be the third one. Basically now, um, I can say I'm advancing you. Um, I'm getting there now, so finally. Uh, so let's go up and check what could be happening in the other one. So guys, we are here in the third net, um, as you can see. Let me just show you very well. Now, here they're not dying like as fast as I thought so. 
look at this so the flies are basically yet emerging and uh, so how I set it you can look at this setup or uh, I just had to hang it I had to put some platform down there put them over it and then you can see uh, this is my duck cage okay so this is my duck cage right this is my duck cage so what I had to do is uh, I had to make a hole a hole in the front there so that flies that emerge just see the light from the net when they see the light from the net basically and then they have to just uh, pass to the net so I don't have to have any hassle of coming to shake flies to go to the net so basically from the dark cage they just emerge direct and go to the net right I think the system is more soft I never wanted to fill the net with plenty of prepupa in there, so I basically keep my prepupa in here in the duck cage. And then I just had to make a hole and then stitch it with the uh, duck cage. And then, so it has made the whole system easy, right? So basically, this is the system I want to use for all my nets. I, I will have to um, make it in a way that the prepupa stays out of the net so what emerges in the net is only the fly and what the only fun there is the attractant and the maybe the water cotton wool that the feed on basically that's all right so guys thanks for watching um i'll be coming up with new videos very soon about my how the new attractant that i use and um how effective it is how eh, there are a lot of things i've gone through so in this period i have a lot of advancements right now so i am happy right now very happy right now after all the failures i can't imagine it has been long failing and uh, you know me basically it has been trial and error right i have not had guidance from anyone i just um let's go to the internet and look at something and then i try it out i try it out so and that has helped me gain a lot of experience in this. So I feel confident now that I can kick on. I can kick on, right? Every farm out there. So basically right now we keep fish. So um, hopefully by by this month, and then I begin feeding my fish this. I wanted to make it to a bigger scale so that I'm able to sustain the, the fish feed need in the farm so i think i'm not ready to go right hit that subscribe button you if you're ready for this journey just hit that subscribe button and see how we move i've i've new units that i've constructed that i'm here to show you but right now um i'm going to do something different so let's see every student out there you know like people in the university think this is not my job i'm not supposed to deal with the waste so i really have to make it challenging this time right <laughs> i love it so i do it with passion that's why i don't mind failing failing has made me stronger in this so i believe i can even scale it up now to a bigger bigger version of it so guys like the video comment share and subscribe thank you for watching and keep supporting the channel thank you very much goodbye